On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring productivity enhancements to the QuickBooks Online Desktop app, including a new split screen feature and the ability to have multiple tabs open for multiple clients. Here's what to expect. You'll see the update in action and then hear from ProAdvisor correspondents Roman Villar and Naya Carter-Gray, who shared their advice on how you can work smarter and not harder. Hey, Pro Advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. When it comes to working in the QuickBooks Online desktop app, we heard that you want to have multiple reports open at the same time, and that it's a pain to have to switch between companies when you go from working on one client file to another. So here's what's new. You can now split your screen so that you can view and interact with multiple reports or files all at once within a single interface. This is really useful when it comes to comparing documents or referencing multiple sources of data. And that's not all. Using the desktop app, you can now open multiple tabs and each tab can have a different company file. That way you can work across multiple clients all at once. And now for the fast facts. These productivity enhancements to the QuickBooks Online Desktop app are available to all users. That means accountants and small business owners alike. You can download the app by visiting the settings in QuickBooks Online, then clicking on Get the Desktop App. The app has been available since 2022 to users in the US, UK, Canada, and Australia, and the team continues to make improvements. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, it's my pleasure to welcome the product leader behind this update, Radhika, to tell us a bit more. Radhika, welcome. Thank you so much, Jackie, for having me here. I'm super excited. Let me quickly walk you through on how can you use this feature inside the product. As you can see on my screen, this is the QuickBooks Online Desktop app. Once you are in the desktop view, which is a toggle button on the top left, you see the button of split screen. In the split screen mode, uh, for example, I wanted to compare two reports. I have one report open and from the left navigation, when I click right, I will get an option to open another split screen. This screen will allow us to show how this product works. Once you are in the split screen mode, you can search for anything that you like and have them open parallelly side by side. Here, there is a report of a profit and loss and a balance sheet open side by side. Now, I can either choose to view, continue to view, compare both of these, or I can easily change the tasks that, I, that I'm using in the split view. So when I click on the back button, I come back to the split view home screen over here. I have an option to choose anything from my quick access menu and open that or whichever active screen that you have. For instance, currently my active screen is the report section because when you click on it, there's a green outline which helps you identify which screen is active. Each active screen can be changed with the help of the left navigation or the top menu. So let's look at how can you change it. All you have to do is click on the chart of accounts, which I wanted to open in the left side and it started. On the right side, I took the top menu and changed it to vendors. So it's very easy to change what you're viewing. Now, the, the options that you have on the screen, which are the five options can also be customized. You have, you have the option to choose anything up to five. You can reorder them the way you like and start using them. Not just that, once you're done using split screen, you have to click on the same button again and close split screen. I hope Jackie, that was helpful and entertaining. Radhika, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Really happy to have you here. We'll turn now to ProAdvisor correspondents, Nayo and Roman for them to weigh in. Nayo, Roman, thanks so much for hanging out with us on In The Know today. We're so happy to have you on this episode. Thanks for having us. All right. Well, we're talking about the QuickBooks online desktop app. So curious to hear, Roman, starting with you, do you use this at your firm? Yeah, I've been using the desktop app for online for 
about two years now. And I love the functionality versus the online, the web application, I suppose. It's, um, it's been a lot more efficient for me personally, and I'm happy to go into detail on how that happens. So I heard about it a while ago, downloaded it, used it, and was like, eh, I don't have to have another app on the computer. But in preparation for this call, I was like, oh, all of these apps have been updated? Let me check it out. And so ever since we set up this call, I've been using it. It's been super, super helpful. I even showcased it to my team in our team meeting. So now I'm encouraging them to download it and use it as well. That's awesome. I hope the same for other pro advisors that they see this episode, they see the updates and they realize that it can help them save a lot of time. So Nayo, tell me when you're working in a single client file, we heard about the split screen, which seems like a huge time saver. So tell me about how you use the split screen or other productivity ha hacks when you're working on a single client. So for me, split screen is usually in my review process, right? Um, we're looking at financial statements and then we're like, what's the data going on here? And if we need to make adjustments, that split screen really helps in making those adjustments without having to close the financial statements to see how the reports are changing. So that's the, um, how we use it most effectively, uh, especially since, you know, I'm so happy now I get to delegate some things and I'm just looking at high level numbers. Uh, and so I don't really <laughs> have to be doing the data entry now. Right. Um, and it, it's very helpful for me to be able to say, okay, this is what was done. Maybe I need to see if there's a receipt attached and maybe even look at who entered the information in the audit log and then help my team really kind of develop and strategize on how we can do things more effectively. But I love it because, you know, I don't have to duplicate the tab. And it's just a lot, it's just a lot when you're doing it online. And if we got to look at multiple companies that, that just kills the entire screen. Um, so this app has really, really, really been effective. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. And what about you, Roman, when you're working in a single client, how does the app help you save time? Yeah, it's super similar to Nio. You know, I, I try to be as efficient as possible and I love multitasking, even though I may not be great at it. However, when I'm going through a financial review, I'm typically starting with the balance sheet. So I wanna have a full view of the balance sheet first and then click into the transactional level detail or, you know, individual expenses, vendors, what have you. and. It, by enabling a split screen, I can have both of those at once, right? Because there's all these relationships on the balance sheet of how things work together. And so it allows me to go that one step deeper without having to toggle in, toggle out, toggle in, toggle out. I can have those side by side. And so for me, uh, when you are reviewing many reviews in a single month, having that ability on a single file within the same screen has been uh, really helpful for me. And I believe the team has started using it in that way as well. If you happen to be working on multiple clients at once, I hear that there's some other productivity hacks within the app, like having multiple tabs open. So have you been able to use the multi-tab and how has that helped you save time? Yeah, for better or worse, I'm, I'm a, a tab hoarder. And so I've got 38 tabs in, in uh, my, my web application on various things. And then in QuickBooks, now that I'm capable of having multiple tabs, I now have more than 10 tabs in QuickBooks at any given time. Now, I don't work in all of them at the same time. However, there's often things in the review process you try to maybe push back to the team or you wanna see corrections made. And while that's happening, if it's gonna be in real time with your team, you can then toggle more easily to another set of books to continue the review process. And so that's typically how I use that multi-tab feature, uh, but I like having multiple tabs. It makes me feel more efficient. It's, uh, it's been helpful for me. And how about that color coding? Oh, I'm a color coder. The team, if you put anything in Excel and it's color coded, the team will, they will not be very pleased with me. However, it's helpful for me to navigate within the tabs in QuickBooks. <laughs> Nayo, can you relate to that? Are you a color coder? I am a color coder. It, <laughs> if I can see a blue versus a red dot, it makes it easier for me to know where I'm going to. Um, and I'm like, Roman, I am like a tab hoarder. Um, when I, especially <laughs> when I look at my cell phone and I'm like looking at all these Safari windows that are open, it is so shameful. But with the <laughs> QuickBooks app, I've been working on this project where we have these clients that are in this group and their chart of accounts just needs to be precisely the same. And there were a couple of uh, clients we set up before we started using the chart of account templates. 
And so I've had to kind of have multiple companies open just to make sure does this chart of accounts match this one is, you know, one S on gift versus gifts makes a difference, uh, especially when we start doing some of our consolidation projects. So it's been super helpful in that way. I am just thankful that it was reintroduced to me. So thanks, Jacqueline. If I if you wouldn't have resurfaced this, I wouldn't have been more efficient last week. I know I shaved at least an hour time off of my my project I was working on because of this this new this app that's been updated and reimagined. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you're welcome. And honestly, thank you for being here. I think this was the perfect overview of some awesome time savers within a client file, across client files. And yeah, sounds like folks should be downloading that app to save time. So Naya, Roman, thanks so much for hanging out on this episode. Thanks See for ya. <laughs> and thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.